warned there are evil people in this world. We've been warned so vividly. And we'll be alert. Your government is alert. The governors and mayors are alert. That evil folks still lurk out there. As I said yesterday, people have declared war on America. And they have made a terrible mistake. Because this is a fabulous country. Our economy will come back. We'll still be the best farmers and ranchers in the world. We're still the most innovative entrepreneurs in the world. On this day of faith, I've, got, I've never had more faith in America than I have right now. Mr. President, are you worried this crisis might send us into a recession? Uh, David, I understand that uh, there are some businesses that hurt as a result of uh, uh, this crisis. Obviously, New York City hurts. Congress acted quickly. We worked together, the White House and the Congress, to pass a, a significant supplemental. A lot of that money was dedicated to New York, New Jersey, and Connecticut, as it should be. People will be amazed at how quickly we rebuild New York, how quickly, peop how quickly people come together uh, to, uh, to uh, really wipe away the rubble and show the world that we're still the strongest nation in the world. But I have great faith in the resiliency of the economy, and uh, no question about it, this incident uh, affected our economy. But the market's open tomorrow, people go back to work, and we'll show the world. Yeah, Mr. Bill. President, do you believe Osama bin Laden's denial that he had anything to do with this? <laughs> no question, he is the prime suspect. No question about that. Mr. President, can you describe your conversation with the President of Pakistan and the specific comments that he made to you? And in addition to that, do you see other promises similar? I know you've asked Saudi Arabia to help out other countries. John, I will, um, I, 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 obviously I made a call to the uh, leader of Pakistan. We had a very good, open conversation. And there is no question that he wants to cooperate with the United States. I'm not at liberty to detail specifically what we have asked him to do. In the course of this conduct of this uh, war against terrorism. I'll be asked a lot, and members of my administration will be asked a lot of questions about our strategies and tactics. And uh, in order to protect the lives of uh, people that will be involved in the different operations, I'm not at liberty to talk about it, and I won't talk about it. But I can tell you that the uh, response from Pakistan, uh, Prime Minister Vajpayee today of India, uh, Saudi Arabia, has been very positive. And, and very straightforward. They know what my intentions are. They know my intentions are to find those who did this, find those who encouraged them, find those who housed them, find those who comfort them, and bring them to justice. I made that very clear. There is no doubt in anybody's mind with whom I've had a conversation about the intent of the United States. I gave them ample opportunity to say they were uncomfortable with our goal. And the leaders you've asked about have, uh, have said they were comfortable. They said, we understand, Mr. President, we're with you. Mr. President, the Attorney General is going to ask for enhanced law enforcement authority to surveil and do other things to disrupt terrorism that might be planned here in the United States. What will that mean for the rights of Americans? What will that mean Terry, for Americans? Terry, I ask you to talk to the Attorney General about that subject. He'll be prepared to talk about it publicly at some point in time. But what he is doing is he's reflecting what I said earlier in my statement, that, um, that we're facing a new kind of enemy, somebody so barbaric that they would fly airplanes into buildings full of innocent people. And therefore, we have to be on alert in America. We're a nation of law, a nation of civil right. We're also a nation under attack. And uh, the, the Attorney General will address that in a way that I think we'll, the American people will understand. We need to go back to work tomorrow, and we will. But we need to be alert to the fact that, um, that these evildoers still exist. We haven't seen this kind of barbarism in a long period of time. No one could have conceivably imagined uh, suicide bombers burrowing into our society and then emerging all on the same day to fly their aircraft, fly U.S. aircraft into buildings full of innocent people and show no remorse. And uh, we're, we're, this is a new kind of uh, 
a new kind of evil. And uh, we all, we'll, uh, we understand. And the American people are beginning to understand. Now, this is, this, 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 this crusade, this war on terrorism uh, is going to take a while. And the American people must be patient. I'm going to be patient. But I can assure the American people, I am determined. I'm not going to be distracted. I will keep my focus to make sure that not only are these brought to justice, but anybody who's been associated will be brought to justice. Those who harbor terrorists will be brought to justice. It is time for us to win the first war of the 21st century decisively so that our children and our grandchildren can live peacefully into the 21st century. Patsy. Mr. President, you declared that we're at war and you asked the military to get ready. Should the American people be ready to expect casualties in this war? Patsy, the American people should know that my administration is determined to find, to get them running, and to hunt them down, those who did this to America. Now, I want to remind the American people that the, that the prime suspects organization is in a lot of countries. It's a widespread organization based upon one thing, terrorizing. They can't stand freedom. They hate what America stands for. So this will be a long campaign, a determined campaign, a campaign that will use the resources of the United States to win. They have, uh, they have roused a mighty giant, and uh, make no mistake about it, we're determined. Oh, there'll be times when people don't have this incident on their mind, I understand that. There'll be times down the road where uh, citizens will be concerned about other matters, and I completely understand that. But this administration, along with those friends of ours who are willing to stand with us all the way through, will do what it takes to rout terrorism out of the world. Yeah, Stretch. Uh, and you're getting back to your conversation with the leader of Pakistan. Did you make any requests or demands of him that he, that he turned you down on? Or did you get for what you've asked the, for? The, the leader of Pakistan has been uh, very cooperative. Uh, he has uh, agreed with... Uh, our requests to aid our nation to to hunt down to find to smoke out of their holes the terrorist organization that is the prime suspect and uh, I am pleased with his response um, we will continue to work with uh, Pakistan and India we'll work with Russia we will work with the nations that, uh, uh, that uh, one would have thought a couple of years ago would have been impossible to work with, to bring people to justice, but more than that, to win the war on ter against terrorist activity. Um, the, the American people um, are used to a conflict where there was a beachhead or a desert to cross, or known military targets. There may, that may occur, but right now we're facing people who hit and run. They hide in caves. We'll get them out. The other day I said, not only will we find those who have affected America or who might affect America in the future, We'll also deal with those who harbor them. And, uh... Mr. President, would you confirm what the Vice President said this morning, that at one point during this crisis you gave an order to shoot down any uh, civilian airliner that approached the Capitol? Was that a difficult decision to make? I gave our military the orders necessary to protect Americans, do whatever it would take to, to protect Americans, and of course that's difficult. Never did in anybody's uh, thought process about how to protect America, did we ever think that uh, the evildoers would fly not one, but four commercial aircraft into
precious U.S. targets. Never. And so obviously, uh, when I was told what was taking place, when I was informed that a unidentified aircraft was headed to the heart of the capital, I was concerned. I wasn't concerned about my decision. I was more concerned about the lives of innocent Americans. I had realized uh, there on the ground in Florida we were under attack. But never did I dream we would have been under attack this way. That's what I say to the American people. We've never seen this kind of evil before. But the evil doers have never seen the American people uh, in action before either. And they're about to find out. Thank you all very much. Even